The UK has an incredibly effective screening for newborn conditions. At present, there are nine, and it's extremely well accepted by the population. But it turns out that there are at least 800 treatable conditions. Often with um, rare genetic conditions, treatment can actually only be given really at, in the early stages of the disease. And so by finding it early, they'll have access to those treatments. We think that thousands of children are born each year with a, a rare treatable condition. Uh, in the generation study that we're running, we're going to be returning findings on more than 200 of those conditions. So the generation study is a research study that we're running in partnership with the NHS. Our aim is to sequence the genomes of 100,000 newborn babies. We want to find the children and then once they've been treated, be able to assess, have we improved the outcome of these children by finding them early? We're looking for conditions that present in early childhood and that we actually know that we can treat and will make a significant difference to the baby's health. The study is as much about understanding the ethics and the expectations of the public on how we might do this, as well as the science and the health economics. We started with a national public dialogue that really asked the question, should we be doing genome sequencing in newborn babies? I've been working with families trying to get screening programs for their conditions for more than 10 years. And this is the first time that we've really had an open door to put our hands up and say, please screen for our condition. We realise the importance of really co-designing a study like this with our different stakeholders, both people from clinical groups, members of the public and members of the rare disease community. We've been involved in working groups looking at the ethics of the study and also how the pathways to return results are designed. Equity is something we think about a lot during the study and making sure that we have equity of access, how people might receive information, what types of languages we might consider and how we can make people at different communities aware about the study. The Generation Study launched in April 2024 at its very first hospital trust and by October 2024 the study is live at 13 sites and has recruited over a thousand families. What excites us most is the impact that we can have for the children and families with rare conditions uh, across the country who we want to do better for. Genomics England is a company owned by the UK Department of Health and Social Care. We're a data and evidence engine for national scale genomics in healthcare. Here in the Generation Study, we're running this research study in partnership within the NHS. Genomics England will be collecting the data and distributing it it is the National Health Service that will carry out the actual performance of the study. Cambridge was the second site to take part in the study. Parents uh, would be informed about the study during their pregnancy, direct approach by uh, the research staff um, who will see the patients after the 20-week scan. Then they take blood at delivery. It's just a couple of droplets from the cord, which does not affect the mother or does not affect the baby. Then a couple of months after the birth, families receive a result from that test. Over 99% of those will receive a condition not suspected and that will come via email. The, just about 1% of um, parents will receive a condition suspected telephone call from a specialist and at that point that specialist would arrange to check that what we found in the research is actually um, what that child has. The study's been going really, really well. We've had an overwhelmingly positive response from families um, wanting to participate and um, have their babies screened. So I was um, actually downstairs for my routine ultrasound and I noticed the posters. So I was like, oh, this, this is a good opportunity. The more we can understand about genes, obviously, the more we can move health forward, tailored to exactly what your child might need. We've worked with the NHS to provide additional funding for genetic counselling so that can be accessed in a timely way to participants after they get a result and work through the different uncertainties and questions that a result at this point in time could bring and hopefully help them to adapt to that over the course of time. Now the Generation Study is live and recruiting families. It's very much about um, expanding the number of sites we're working with and recruiting 100,000 babies and then critically carrying out the evaluation of the programme through that process and afterwards to generate the evidence that we will present to policymakers to inform future decisions. Ultimately, the study is asking the question, should genomic sequencing be offered to every baby at birth? And we hope the evidence will show the promise we see 
So I think we're really moving into an era of preventative medicine. We know about some genetic conditions, but there are so many more that we don't know about. And this study obviously um, looks to find those conditions and find out what they are and also to find treatments for them. We also ask parents for their consent to allow us to access the genomic data and link it to clinical data from the baby's lifetime. This will allow researchers to ask other questions of the data and to see if we can then really also help with the development of further diagnosis and treatment of rare diseases. We hope that by undertaking this study on a national scale that the evidence we generate can also help those other countries that are asking whether genome sequencing can be used as part of newborn screening in the future. I think that we will be able to take a big leap forward from this and I think that will mean a lot of the families that I've been working with for so long will have a different future and a different outcome. To find some of those children that are born in the UK every single day with a rare treatable genetic condition. That would just be life-changing for these families.